I have I kind of missed you. I haven't been with you in a while. I know I've been very, 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 very busy. And I haven't had time to make any kind of videos. It's just been one of those kind of things. Yeah, as you can know, I kind of shaved for the summer. And it's Memorial Day weekend. And I've got potluck, of course, tomorrow. But I'm going to make uh, something real quick, nice and easy. Well, not so quick. I'm going to make something nice um, that everybody, everybody loves when I make it. And that's homemade naan bread, which is an Indian style bread. And some beautiful homemade hummus, uh, roasted garlic hummus. We're going to put this all together. We're going to have a beautiful, beautiful feast uh, ready for the, the people tomorrow. And it's going to be fabulous. So, let me get everything together. And after I get it together, we'll be right back. Okay, we've got a nice big bowl. We've got about four and a half cups of flour. We've got one egg, which we're going to beat. We've got about a quarter cup of sugar. And we've got yeast. I, I happen to like the, the Fleischmann's uh, active dry yeast. And we've got about a cup of water. And we're going to have to add some salt. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our nice, the water, here's a little tip. The water has to be about 109 or 110 degrees. If it's over that, you're going to kill your yeast. If it's under that, your yeast isn't going to bubble up the way it's going to be. So you want it nice and bubbly. You want it to do what it's supposed to do. So we're going to take a teaspoon and a half. Always use a, a, a measurement device when you're when you're baking of any kind. I hate to bake only because of those reasons, but please use it because otherwise stuff don't come out right. So here's a teaspoon and a half of the active dry yeast. We're going to uh, whisk that around. Just a, just a little bit. We're going to put in our sugar, because yeast loves sugar. Just to mix that up like that. Thusly. Let that sit until it starts to foam, about five to seven to ten minutes, depending on your environment, how cold it is, all that other happy nonsense. Anyway, just let it rest, please. And then we're going to start mixing in the other ingredients. In the meantime, I'm going to beat my egg. I'm going to add some salt into the egg, and we're going to wait. We're going to wait until this is ready. And when it's done, we're going to start mixing it all together. So we'll be right back. Okay, it's been about, uh, I'm going to say about five, seven minutes. See how the uh, beautiful yeast is starting to bubble up inside that beautiful 900 degree water. It's just loving it. Um, we're going to mix in there some eggs, some milk, and the flour, and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. We'll be uh, right. Okay, we got uh, our yeast with our water and our sugar, which has just been bubbling and making, it smells absolutely phenomenal. You gotta, you gotta try this stuff. Anyway, um, next thing we got, we got three tablespoons of milk. Milk, it makes a body good though. And we're gonna put that in there. And we're gonna add one egg beaten, just like that. And we're gonna add uh, what did we got? Like, um, two teaspoons of salt. So, let's go to our handy dandy measuring device, which I'm not accustomed to using. <laughs> One and two, beautiful. That should be fat. So, and we're going to mix that all together. Just like this. Okay, then we're going to slowly start incorporating our uh, four and a half cups of flour. So, we got our liquid and we're just going to start 
gently adding our flour until it starts making a dough. And you'll know, dosey dough, -si -do, you know, that kind of thing. You'll know when it starts making dough. And as it's working its way in there, we don't want to mess around. Oh, I smell that yeast. It smells phenomenal. We just want to add a little bit of time. So it goes from like pancake batter to full-blown dough. And you'll know it because it'll, it'll pull away from the sides. Because then it's, oh, there we go. Right there. You get to feel it when it's not sticking in your fingers. And we're going to work in the rest of the dough, which is maybe about a half a cup. Just like that. I'm going to slap it out on the tray. I'm going to get rid of this. And we're going to just work this around. Okay, see? A little stick. Add more. Add a little more. Don't worry about it. It ain't, uh, it's not rocket science here. It's nan bread. <laughs> Something they've been making on the on the fields and plains and in the small little neighborhoods of the of India for centuries. So we're just going to mix that around. Okay, nice. See, now it's at the point where it's not sticking to my fingers, and it's just pulling up that excess dough that's on the countertop. Beautiful. See it? See it doing that? I hope you see that. Beautiful. It's absolutely lovely in the bowl from our original four and a half cups. And there we go. There we go. Nice and beautiful. It's mixing around. It's a mixing around. Now we do the pizza trick. We're going to roll it up into a, into a nice beautiful ball. Just like that, it's going to be a beautiful ball. A little bit of X, a little bit of excess of flour to make a stick of nice. You see how beautiful that is? I hope you do. Okay, so we're at almost capacity of our flour from our initial almost five cups. This is what we've got left. I'm going to say that's less than half a cup of flour that has gone into making this dough. Just like that. Need a little more from this bottle. I like the taste of this one better. This is a, like an extra, extra, extra virgin olive oil. And we're going to put our dough in there to rest. We're going to do the top with the olive oil. Then we're going to do the bottom so it's nice and coated. And then we're going to stick this in a place. Another tip. I like to put it in the oven. I like to stick it in the oven with any kind of plastic bottle that you have filled with hot tap water. You take this, put it in the oven, draft free, with a hot bottle of tap water, it'll proof like magic. You watch. That being said, let me clean myself up and um, clean up the area a little bit. Let this get proofing for about an hour and we'll be back. Okay, folks, our man has been resting doubling in size in the oven for about an hour and a half. We're going to pull it out. Again, these tips, any plastic bottles that you have that hold about a half gallon, they conduct heat very well. Make for a nice proofing box. Look at that. It is doubled beautifully. Now, what we're going to do is take a look at that little bit of flour that was left over. 
dusted on our work surface, bed flower. Take out our dough. Oh my god, this feels so nice. Just like that. Punch it down a little bit. Punch it down a little bit, just like that. And then, I think I want to use a knife. I'm going to use a knife and cut this into about 12 or 14 pieces, just like this, about the size of a golf ball for each piece. Okay, so we're going to take this piece roll it around, make a little beautiful, okay, it's a little bit bigger than a golf ball, put it on a sheet pan, and we're gonna, we're gonna let this rise again. Just like the south, we're gonna let it rise again. Just like that. Take these beautiful little balls of dough. There's three, and here's four, and I'm going to keep doing this until I fill up the entire sheet pan. When I'm done with all this dough, I'm going to wind this up. I'm going to stick it in the oven again. Let it proof again for a second time. And then we'll be back. Our dough has been resting in the oven in its golf ball size for about 30 minutes. I've got a... Uh, a stick of butter here. I'm going to stick this in a medium pan. Actually, it's a low pan. And as you can see, I've got a beautiful Korean grill heating up on high between two, not one, but two, burners to make it nice and hot. I'm going to uh, as we go along, I'm going to brush that down with a little oil, either the butter or a little olive oil. And then we're going to, that's exactly where we're going to grill our bread, our naan. Uh, I would love to do this out in the barbecue, but c'est la vie. We'll do it indoors today, and it's just as good. So, as soon as this is hot enough, as soon as this butter is melted down enough, we, you and I, will be back. Okay, a beautiful pieces of nan have risen. Look at that. I mean, it's phenomenal. I have oiled up and greased up our Korean grill pan. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's smoking hot. And in the background, we've got a beautiful pot of melted butter. Now, you're gonna watch simultaneously as I flatten these out, get them onto that grill pan, get them heated up, flip them over, butter them, and they're gonna be absolutely phenomenal. So let me get back to it, I'll be right there. Grill pan's hot. The this is looking just phenomenal. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on the table. You can roll these out, you can pat them out, you can do whatever you want, whatever, whatever floats your boat. I'm just gonna pat them out, just like this, get them into some semblance of a round shape and then just like this stretch it out a little bit throw it on let it cook I'm going to dust the pan 
adjust the center. It's almost like uh, pizza dough. Almost. Just like that, we're going to spread it out, get it nice and even, throw it on. Look at that. Oh, you see this? See how it's puffing up? That's when it's time to flip it. And you get the nice, beautiful grill marks, and it's phenomenal. So, let's on the, just like that. soon as they're done, we'll be back. Oh my goodness, they're smoking. Look at that. Smoking brown and beautiful. It would be nice to do this on the grill, but we're doing it here. Look at that butter. Just okay, our man bread is done. I've got a beautiful little chopper here with about three or four cloves of garlic. I'm going to chop these up with a little bit of olive oil, stick them in a beautifully smoking pan, and hopefully they'll too fancy. Yeah, baby, just like this. Just like that. 
and then it's all ready and then we got to present it. So there is our beautiful naan, homemade naan, and our beautiful hummus and hopefully we're going to stick this together with a beautiful homemade cheesecake. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens.